All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. My name is John, and today we are going to be enhancing again. So as you guys know, the Megu Awakening has released as of this week in patch. And so I did a little bit of off-camera, uh, the Black Star quest, and we got ours. So we're going to be enhancing it and hoping for the best, as usual. If you have ever seen my other enhancing videos, you know it is not so great. But we like to do this every time a new awakening comes out or something special. And yeah, so I've been saving up a little bit of mem frags and everything, hoping for a little bit plus the sale for the artisans. So I figured why not? Anyway, we have 56 of these. I hope we don't use that many. And then we made some flawless stones for prying on. And before we get into it, I just want to say uh, if you guys are planning on making any pearl purchases or buying the package for any uh, thinking of starting the game or anything just uh, use the code below as well or on screen it's code john law it's not case sensitive and i get a little bit of a portion of what you spend on it so i would always appreciate it and once again thank you if you do and let's get started all right so i'm gonna show you how to enhance it the way i do and how i figure out how much I would spend on it. So first of all, from zero to plus seven is 100%. And generally from plus seven all the way to plus, I think around like 12, that's where you start doing a little bit of math and figuring out how much would it cost. So for example, I don't force enhance any of these anymore, but let's say I were to force enhance it. How much would I spend? It would cost two concentrateds and 20 durability. Each click is 10 durability. So in theory, if we get it within two attempts, then it's generally better to um, do it yourself rather than forcing it. But anyway, I usually overstack a little bit just to make sure because I value the durability a little bit more than the Blackstones. Ultimately, it comes down to math and whatever you pick. But, uh, yeah, I do that. I've also failed 90% before. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. At plus 8, we have... How much would a 20 stack be? 64% on a 20. Okay, let's do that. So, if we were to force it, for example... We want to try to get it within three clicks, and in theory, it should be. Okay. So a 23 stack and plus nine is one in basically within four. So I think a 20 stack is also fine. Plus 10 to plus... 12 is where things like you know it's not too bad and then let me see how much would i start i would put a 28 40 percent on in five tries i think that's good okay so now we're gonna start using 30 so one in four essentially how much would that be six attempts let's do it Four. Not bad. Um, okay, so 12 to 15. This is where things get a little bit weird because the ramp up in difficulty goes up. Let's use a 40. So 40 is a 1 in 5. Okay, cool. 13, 14, 15. I believe you would probably start within the 40 range and up. So, this is essentially, uh, I don't know, for 13% for this. Let's see, how much would a 50 stack be? 1 in 6 on a 50. And to force it, in theory, is like 1 in, or within 8 attempts. Also, the 29 concentrated, so that's kind of a lot. So, you don't really want to force for their head. And from 14 to 15, this is where people have actually con 
forced it and it would make sense because basically you would just be going a full durability bar down and 36 of these so i have done the math before and it ultimately comes out to breaking even if you were to force it versus enhancing it but that's just on average so let's use a use a 60. it's kind of high for a 14 to 15 but it's kind of what i do it's just one tap it or we can you know not one tap it honestly it feels worse when you fail pride to duo over and over again so we'll see that very shortly It's like five fails, right? Six, seven. Uh, I mean, we technically did it in un like uh, under average, I think, so the better one, but that still doesn't feel that good. <laughs> okay, so now is when we swap to here, and things cost, uh, I believe, twenty durability a click. It also doesn't feel that good. So one and or one and two, basically. I am convinced, though, that, like, Pride of Duo has some of the weirdest percentage rates. Okay, so the way you look at this one, assuming you're going from Pride to, I guess, Pen, is if you were going to enhance normal boss gear, like yellow versus red tier, uh, basically, this is one step up. So, for example, let's say you're going for Duo to try on boss gear. This is the same thing as duo to try, essentially. So, yeah, just to give you an idea of percent rates, that's what it is. So, I like to start try to duo around 30 and then go from there. Or we could just start off our session by failing straight up five in a row. It, it happens. So this is how the enhanced session is going to be. I see. I see. Hmm. Do I want to use the 30? No, let's use the 44. That seems high. It really does. All right. So from duo to try is the equivalent of going from try to tet. And so I personally like starting on uh, 60 and up. But I also do have Valks that we use. And personally, this is when things get a little bit different. Because if you're trying to min-max the value, I believe you would just start at 60 without the Valks. But like I'm at the point in the game where it doesn't particularly matter for me. Because the gear I need is different. So this is how you do it. You just add it and then cool. It's basically like more fail stacks. One and four. Also, I heard they changed the timer for things above 100 stacks. So instead of 30 seconds, it's five, which is amazing for everyone that does active enhancing. Okay, so um, from try to tet is when people usually start thinking about what stacks they use and here's how i look at it so first of all you take the price of what you think the thing is going to be so roughly 17 billion right now and for 17 billion i think it is better to use a higher stack than starting on lower just because it costs more so the thing that we have gotten from the fest though is the free 150 stack right i'm gonna use that and then you always just add the extra thing so we're starting on a 165 essentially and yeah almost a nine percent 
Also, for the record, it's not really worth crowning, in my opinion. It's better to make the fail stacks. And yes, I am aware I have made over... I have made multiple 200 stacks and up trying to go for a tet. I think, trust me when I say that you will need the fail stacks eventually. Let's see. Alright, so do it a try. We just go again. That is such a high stack. Oh my god. Uh, uh well, guess we're using it. Yeah, and then you re repeat this process until you get Tet or Pen or whatever you want. So, yeah, I think on average, my many black stars that I've enhanced over time. I personally think that my average, I hit it around like a 185. So whether you think that's good or not, who knows, but that's my average. Oh, did they remove the timer? 9.18. Let's do it. go all right do it a try once again it feels worse failing pry to duo than it does like do it a try and try to tet i'm gonna be honest because just because the durability it feels worse Dude, that feels so good, not having the timer as anymore, the 30 second thing, now that's gone. And we still have... Gotta get more artisans along with... More of these... If you are a newer to mid-tier player, I would recommend using the Valks on things that you think are important. Um, so I guess it's up to you whether you think what you're enhancing is important or not. Got the Dura. Actually, we started at 165, but we're at uh, 180. So we failed three tet attempts so far. Basically, three pen boss gear clicks. Not bad. Here comes attempt number four. All right, cool. That was... I mean, like, it was kind of painless, but at the same time, we started on 165. I'm not complaining, either way. The question is, 17 bill... Well, actually, um, if we were to sell it for 17, I'm pretty sure tax is pretty high. And are people, are people actually paying 17? I don't know. But either way, you should probably sell it. In most cases, I would probably use it, but having silver right now is probably pretty nice. But anyway, thanks so much for watching my mini series. I actually thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was today. So now that we have extra materials, uh, we'll probably do some more enhancing of other things. Um, we still have a lot more stuff to upgrade in the future. And yeah, I'm not really like Monos is definitely a thing that I want, but that one just feels like pain and suffering. But we'll figure it out. Trust me, we have a lot of things I want to enhance. And so I guess we're done for now. So thanks so much for watching. Once again, 
If you are new to your channel, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you come back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave it in the comments or join the Discord. All the links are in the description once again. And uh, yeah. Also, use the code if you're planning on buying any pearls or anything. I do get a small percentage of it, and I would appreciate it. So see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.